All right, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some details on this first assignment. Um, you can read the instructions, but sometimes it also helps to have them explained and to be able to hear them. So just a few things to highlight. I'm not going to go over everything here because, like I said, you can read it here. But the key is, so you're writing a poem, and the key thing with your poem is that there needs to be lots of imagery. And so I talk about the sensations of the physical world. So if you think of your five senses, right? Touch, smell, taste, feel, sight. Those are the things you want to appeal to as many of those as you can in your poem. So what, is, what does the scene look like? What does it smell like, sound like? And try to be creative. Like this is why we focused on defamiliarization and things of that nature. Because you want to show this in a way that really brings it to life for your reader. And pay attention to the things that we've read and when it really moved you or when it really, it just got it right and you, you liked that. You want to do the same thing in your poem. So you've got all these examples. The key is to read lots of good poems and make note of the strong imagery that you notice. And then make a poem that does the same thing. So um, it could be pulled from any of the poems really that you've written so far for any of the exercises or for, you know, just for fun. You do want to make sure it's a poem that you wrote this quarter, so not something you wrote, you know, over the summer or last year, um, but something that you, you're, you're writing right now. So these are the things I'm looking for, as I mentioned. Talk about length here. Um, I also want to emphasize it doesn't have to be a true, something that really happened, but it can be, right? Um, using these devices, metaphor, similar, sim, uh, simile, um, using musical language like we've talked about, just showing that you have this understanding and you can use it to make your own poem strong. And this is how I grade it. So if you look at this, you can see how everything breaks down. So it's not too complicated of an assignment. You want to write in a poem. You want to write a poem that moves your reader, that transports them into that world that you're describing. And uh, use these tips and these tricks and these tools that we've talked about and that's going to help you make your poem strong. As always, you can reach out to me for clarification. Um, you can bounce your poem drafts off your classmates for feedback. On the, You'll have a chance to do that. And also there's writing tutors that you can get feedback from. Um, and if you want to dialogue with me and get some feedback, that's also an option. So just let me know and we'll, we'll get that figured out. But uh, the, the key thing is to make it focused on imagery and enjoy the process of poetry. It's not easy to write a good poem. It takes effort, but it's something that can be developed. So, And the, the better you get at this, the better you're going to be at your short stories, at your narratives, at your anything you want to write, basically. So that's that kind of wraps up our, our recap of the poem instructions.